to my mom was June 6, 2012, her birthday. The last time before that was April 20, 2012, my birthday. Our relationship was difficult, to say the least. She had mental health issues and drug issues. And the last text message she sent me that September included the phrase, I hate you. On September 20th, 2012, my dad, who divorced my mom almost 10 years ago now, called to tell me that she had overdosed and was in a coma. My mom has no living family except my little brother and me, so I, being over 18, would have to make all the medical decisions. I would probably have to go home for a few days. I was furious. I had a major position in an on-campus organization that required me to be up in our office working for several hours a day, and I couldn't just up and leave. Also, kids aren't supposed to make medical decisions about their parents until they're much older. I put off going home until fall break. I had to be there in person to tell the doctors they could take my mom off life support. They said it would take maybe two hours for her to die. Instead, it took almost 48. The time my mom finally passed, I had gone home to take a nap. At the hospital, I told my dad that this was so like my mom. She got me to leave school to wait on her. She turned something simple into a huge ordeal, and because she died without her daughter by her side, <coughs> she'll still be able to hold it over my head when we meet in hell. My dad laughed. The doctors didn't think it was funny. Before and after I went home, I had to tell my professors and people in my organization about my mom's condition, simply because they needed to know I might need to take time off, and. I was a bit moody and had to take a lot of personal calls. It was logistics. But I dreaded telling them because inevitably people would say things like, oh, you must be so upset. My mom is like my best friend. I don't know how you're so composed. If I were you, I'd want to take the whole semester off. Do you need time off from work? I didn't need anyone's pity. I don't like revealing too much about my home life to my two friends. They don't need to know that I barely remember loving my mother. They don't need to know that I have a long list of reasons why I'm happy my mom is out of my life. I no longer have to worry about her calling my future boss and telling him to fire me. She won't call me monthly, asking me to wire her money as if I have any money. When I get married someday, she won't make a scene at my wedding. She won't call CPS to have my children taken away from me. <coughs> These were my real fears. My brother is now living with my dad, and he's much happier, and his grades are going up. When I go home, go home to a loving household, as opposed to one where I'm emotionally abused for choosing to go to college instead of taking care of my family. So I'm content, for now. I'm terrified that one day I'll contract a severe mental issue like her. One day, when I'm 40 years old, have a husband, children, and a solid career going, I will suddenly lose it all. I keep telling myself that if I made it this far without becoming depressed or bipolar, I've got to be mentally healthy. But you never know what could trigger it. My mom went to Northwestern, had a 20-year career as an executive news producer before things went south. So who's to say it won't happen to me? Every time I get excited or emotional about something, I'm terrified that it's a manic episode indicative of the inevitable demise of my mental health. Or is the fact that I could be so cold about something like my mother's death a sign that there's already something wrong with me? 
told my boyfriend that if I ever start to go crazy, and if the doctors aren't enough, and it becomes clear that I'm not getting any better, he should let me be homeless or commit suicide. I'm not being dramatic, I'm being practical. I know from my own experience that the pain of letting someone go can sometimes be less than the pain of trying to help. So I wanted to give him permission to do that while I'm still right in the head. I hate her for doing that to me. I hate that even when she is long gone, she'll still be able to ruin me. <coughs> 